Greetings, YouTube. When we started talking about the Patriot Act all lo those many years ago, I was completely opposed to it, and I still am. Um, I thought it was unconscionable that Americans were so willing to just throw away their civil liberties for an illusion of security, because that's what it is, folks. It's security theater. We aren't any safer today than we were the day that that Patriot Act was put into law. It's all just smoke and mirrors and another way of creeping slowly forward and destroying our civil liberties with every step. Well, one of the nice aspects of this, if you're in law enforcement, is that it allows you to have sneak and peek warrants. And what these are, basically you can get the, uh, get the warrant, sneak into private property, poke your nose around into different things, all under the guise of looking for terrorism. So, they've had plenty of time to use these. Let's look at some of the data. Now, how many were used to research terrorism? 15. How many of them were used in cases of fraud? 122. Something the Patriot Act was not written to cover. Now, how many of them were used in cases concerning drugs? 1,608. Teen, something that the Patriot Act was also not designed to cover. So while it doesn't seem to be making us a whole lot safer from terrorism, it does seem to be useful if you want to funnel more Americans into the penal slave system. So there you go. We put the Patriot Act into, into law. We threw our civil liberties away. And the government, surprise, surprise, has used it to look for things other than terrorism. I don't know how any of us could have seen that coming. I know that I am surprised. This right here is my shocked face.